Hey, this is Dr. Joseph with Vail Summit Orthopedics. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the difference between ACL tears and meniscus tears. The ski season's coming right up here and it's a real common injury that all the orthopedists here see. So ACL, of course, is a ligament that's in the middle of the knee there. And the idea of an ACL ligament is it gives stability and it gives stability with rotation. And so obviously with skiing, if you have too much rotation, so let's say there's a ski attached to this knee and it over rotates, well, one of the first things that can fail is that ligament that's way inside of there. At the same time that fails, these rubbery things here are kind of like spacers and they're meniscus and they provide sort of a cushioning and a padding in the joint. And if the knee goes too far and the ACL tears, then commonly it can also tear the meniscus. They're treated differently, meaning the ACL ligament, if it's torn completely, we of course put in a new one. And that's the only way to fix that. You really can't repair that very successfully and, and very only in unique situations. It's typically a reconstruction. With the meniscus tear, usually it'll tear in an area where we can just trim out the torn portion and patients do really well from that. Sometimes this tears in a position that it can be sewn back together and we'll sew the meniscus back together and ask it to grow together. We always preserve as much meniscus as possible because it's important in preventing arthritis. So two of the big differences if patients have a knee injury, especially skiing, is the pop. Everyone knows this sort of notorious pop and it's quite loud and patients usually feel it and that's a bad sign. That implies that you tear the ligament that connects the bones and when it pops, it means it usually tears it significantly. If that's the case, it'll swell dramatically, meaning it usually swells very quickly. Not everyone swells, but most people say that, boy, it swell up significantly in the first couple of minutes, and they can't usually ski down the mountain. There's exceptions, and some people are able to get down the mountain on a fully torn meniscus, but commonly patients, when they stand on it, say, no way, I don't trust this completely separately if you have a twist and you feel pain on the side of your knee especially but there's not a pop and just a little bit of swelling with it more of an annoyance and a small amount of swelling that comes on let's say a day later the next morning that's more indicative of a meniscus tear they don't have as much blood supply and they don't swell as much so that's an important difference both are very fixable and they're very common and they're typically with ski injuries, but they can be with any other sporting type, rotary twisting type activities. And statistically, both of them do real well. And so we're quick to offer to fix them because the numbers on it are really good and tend to, um, and tend to heal predictably. So that's my 10,000 foot overview of ACLs and meniscus tears, especially right here before ski season. So come see us if there's any concern for that. Bale Summit Orthopedics, Dr. Josie.